YouTube. What's going on? As you guys know, I am True Triz. I hope you guys are having an awesome, excellent day. If you guys are, please drop a like on the video. One like equals one extra day of summer. No returns, no guarantees. But you could try, you know, you could try it and see if you guys hit the like button. Your teachers might call up and they might be like, you know what? Just because you like True Truth's video, that means you're going to have an extra day of summer. And you guys can uh, take the, another day off. So anyways, though, <laughs> with that being said, I hope you guys are having an awesome summer. I know summer's kind of coming to a little bit of an end here. We have a couple more weeks left. I don't know. Some people even said they start school um, this upcoming week. So let me know in the comment section when you guys start school again. Um, I'm kind of interested because I start up school again in September. So I still got like till the end of this month, which is August when I'm uploading this video. But I'm interested. Maybe you guys are even like in school when you guys are watching this video. I'm not quite sure. But let me know, guys, if you guys are in school right now, when your school starts uh, for the next school year. And. And, uh, and yeah, but anyways, let's get to today's video. Today I'm on the Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.2 update, the 1.2 beta, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make custom flatland worlds with the 1.2 beta. This is something so awesome, and uh, I've never done this before on a video, and I thought a lot of you guys would absolutely love to get a custom flatland. So if you guys don't know what a custom flatland is, obviously I'm still in the beta here. I'll actually join up a world here just like so, and then this is my custom flat land um, if I generate the world you guys can see that my custom world is all sand that's right so I'm playing on the Windows 10 edition beta um, which is like the same thing as pocket edition of course if I really wanted to I could put this world on my uh, my tablet or my Android device or my iPhone if I really wanted to um, and through like a download if that is but yes see like it's it's all uh, just regular sand, you know, and unfortunately if you actually go ahead I mean I can like, show you guys a little bit more around how to do this stuff But um, yeah, so this is the custom flat land if you guys don't know This is exactly what the custom flat land would look like where it's just sand all across the board You guys can do whatever type of biome you guys want to maybe you guys want I don't know uh, spruce wood planks across the entire world uh, Or if you guys want uh, dirt. Well, actually that's kind of like a normal flat land uh, Cobblestone across the world or stone you can do so which is really cool even if you want to have like brick across the entire world or just brick stairs even or torches I don't know you can get really creative with these custom flat worlds and the fact that you can actually do this now in the 1.2 update beta is super super awesome so anyways shout out to MCPE or MCC tool PE that is as well as redstone crafter for showing me how to do this super awesome of them if I am not crediting some other guys that actually help make this thing please contact me through DM or just tweet at me I know I think I follow all you guys on Twitter that is but if you guys did help make this awesome awesome um, method to actually do it please let me know in the comment section because I'd love to actually credit every single one of you guys that actually was involved I know some of the like the processes of making this um, is, is pretty large so I wanted to make sure I credit everyone that actually helped make this stuff so anyways though so yeah that is the custom flat land and I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually make it so I'm gonna go ahead and save and quit this guy here so once you actually save and quit i'll go into my menu you guys can still see i'm still in the minecraft pe 1.2 beta i'll go ahead and play the game um so i'm gonna go ahead and create a world here generate a random world you can either do survival or creative to be honest um at least on a custom flatland there's really no point of being survival unless you want to do something really weird and crazy that is so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump in creative um doesn't matter what difficulty you're in Easy, normal, does not matter. I'll do normal here. Um, starting map, bonus chest, does not matter. Eh, I don't know about the bonus chest. I would keep it unchecked just to be safe. Super important you guys do so. All right, so anyways, this is the really important part though. World type, make sure the world type is flat. As of right now, you, you cannot choose what type of like flat land you want. Um, the seed pickers, don't like have any extended menus to have like I don't know a full a full seat of like sand or full flatland of like cobblestone or stone or gold blocks or diamond or anything like that. So you're gonna leave that one blank flatland. Very very important. This is an, another very important part too. Make sure that mob spawning is disabled. Very important you guys do so so you guys don't have any like hiccups in the actual build. I always do always day just because of me. Um, just to save on I don't know if you have a uh, 
depending on what kind of device you guys are playing on, I always turn the weather cycle off so like the rain won't like cause any lag or anything like that. All right, so once you actually have this thing all ready, make sure you guys have the same settings as I do. You can name it whatever you guys want to. It can literally be whatever name you guys want it to be. Multiplayer does not matter if it's multiplayer. You have to quick do it uh, pretty quick though. Resource packs, behavior packs, they're default. There's nothing to them, so that's pretty nice. But then all you have to do then is of course create the world. So listen to me very, very closely once you guys create your world here because this is a really important step. Once you guys actually create the world, you're gonna see that it's a custom, it's not a custom, it's a flat land with grass blocks all around it. And I am, you guys are noticing, I am not walking forward, backwards, left, right, anything like that. I'm staying in the same spot and I'm just looking around because if you guys move a little bit, it might actually mess up the entire world, what I'm about to show you guys what to do. So, once you have this all ready and good to go, you can go ahead and actually exit out of this flatland world. So I'm going to go ahead and save and quit. Once I actually go ahead and save and quit, then I can actually go into my menu here. You guys can see it says my world ADF right here. It doesn't matter. Once you guys actually have this, I'm going to open up a tool. Um, the tool that I'm using is MCC tool chest dash PE file. I'm going to go open this guy here. And then you guys can see my world is right there. It's my world ADF. So that's the same thing. So once you have it loaded up in MCCC or M I said too many C's MCC tool chest slash PE, you guys can see there's some options here. There's like player options, data options options, overworld options, nether, the end, all that fun stuff here. So pretty much what you can do, if you really wanted to, you can change a lot of different things. It's really, really cool. Um, I guess it's a little bit easier of a way to change like different like, parts of the world. However, though, the part of the world I'm actually going to be using is the level that D A T. So once I actually press this, there's actually an option. If you scroll down, there's a bunch of other options too, but very important you guys understand that the option I'm going to be using is called flat world layers. So I'm going to double click this thing. And you guys can see there is a little bit of a string here. This string is of course something that you guys are going to have to use. Even if you guys are not that good, maybe at coding or anything like that, do not worry guys, you can look everything up if you guys really want to, uh, but for the time being, what I'm going to do is biome ID, I'm going to change this to 12 here, uh, block layers, block name, bedrock, blah 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 blah, we'll count one, block name, and then I'm going to change this guy um, over, we'll just do, we'll do another sand one here, just so you can see, we'll do sand, uh, count two, a block name, and then we will do another, uh, we'll do another sand block, of course, so you guys can change it to whatever you guys want to. I'm just doing uh, sand, of course. So once you guys just press OK, you guys are done. Go ahead, file, save. Once you guys are saved, it should be all ready to go. And then you can see nothing changed in the little thumbnail here. So I'm going to go ahead and press this world again. It's going to load up instantly. And then once it actually loads up instantly, you guys will see it's still going to remain green. You guys will see it still remains green. However, though, if you guys look into the far distance, you guys can see it's actually turning to sand so now we have a custom flatland how awesome is this guys it is legit a custom sand flatland how awesome is that so you can like still break down it's like the same as like bedrock down here if you want you can like fly around see like the bedrock kind of go underneath the world if you guys want to but i know a lot of you guys do of course uh enjoy having like custom flatlands and you guys can do that so yeah obviously go ahead you can change some different entities if you guys want different block names different block ids try it out i mean it's it's still obviously it's still minecraft like 1.2 so you can do whatever you guys want to maybe you guys would rather make videos on a custom sand world rather than make it on like a custom um like i don't know flatland that's all grass or something like that so that's pretty cool you can also get a little bit creative too i'm gonna go ahead and i'll show you guys what i mean by all this you can get very very creative which is this is when the redstone crafter comes in play here uh, if i actually go ahead and if I show you guys something really crazy, you guys honestly d promise me you won't freak out, okay? Just, just don't go crazy. Stay in your chair, everyone, okay? Just just stay in your chair. You might want to hold yourself. Uh, <laughs> just, just don't fall over what I'm about to show you guys. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make a brand new one. I'm going to go on Flat World. Make sure I have always day on and then mob spawning disabled whether i can disable just like so so i'm gonna be making a normal world just like i have before however though i'm gonna do something a little bit different so once again spawn in the world here the world loads up we have grass i'm gonna go save and quit here then i'm going to do the exact same thing that i did before when i actually pull out my my 
tool. Let me go open this world here. Uh, this is my world, my world right here. And then same thing, guys. You go into level.dat, and then you go into flat world layers, just like so. So now we have this nice little description here. However, though, there's actually a string I want to show you guys uh, that the redstone crafter, I believe, made, and it's really, really cool. And if I actually go ahead, and I can put it in the description if you guys want me to, um, I'm going to go ahead and paste this guy, and then press OK, and then File, Save, just like so. So now, I'm going to exit out because I saved it. Love the world here. So there we have it. Like, you can have so much fun with these things. You can have, like, all TNT if you guys really want to, all cakes if you guys want to, um, diamond blocks, armor stands. I don't know, guys. You can get really creative with this stuff. It's really, really fun to actually do so. Of course, though, you do have to be careful because, say, for example, if I go ahead now and I grab flint and steel, um, and if I start going ahead and lighting these guys, it's going to, like, blow up. Everything is just going to blow up, and then the whole world is gonna like lag so yeah i'm completely like crashed right now because it's the whole entire world will in fact blow up but holy smokes so like i said before try this with caution sometimes your game's gonna crash if you guys don't do it correctly or if you guys take very extreme measures and you guys don't of course go ahead and you guys like be careful with whatever device you guys are using obviously if you guys do tend to use a full tnt custom um like flatland and you guys decide to blow it up your game is going to lag and most likely crash eventually <laughs> so anyways though i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did enjoy today's video and you guys need some help feel free to comment below in the comment section if you guys need some help and i'll try to respond to you guys and uh, help you guys out in the comment section also too if you guys are still watching the video comment below in the comment section so just say realm squad and comment below your game tag and i'll invite a few guys that stay to the end of the video but anyways though my name is true Triz. i hope you guys did enjoy today's video we'll catch y'all later have an awesome day guys more minecraft pe 1.2 update beta stuff coming your way stay tuned for that but anyways have a great day stay true peace make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already and hit the little gear button to turn on notifications once you guys do that you guys will be alerted every single time i upload have an awesome day stay true peace